Our special guest tonight has been part of the Jambox family for quite some time now. He always comes in the Jambox and requests our best accommodation for his music. This is an artist that strives for the best for himself and keeps himself in tip top shape mentally and physically. And he always carries himself like a star. His music is energetic, dynamic and catchy. Introducing Speed Autobahn. Okay, so tell me, is there a certain lifestyle that you would like to embrace for yourself and for your art? I think um, my lifestyle would be just, you know, being healthy and living your best, you know. Um, I think that wherever you go, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So whatever you do, you know, you should always look your best, you know, regardless if your parents, um, your musical sound, whatever you do. So that's just the way I, I, I pretty much wherever I go, I try to always make myself presentable to a point where you know, people respect the vibe that I bring, so. So were you like all the other kids or the other teenagers who everywhere they go, they try to perform or everything? Or how did the how did the music became your career? And when did you know you want to be an artist or pursue it as a career? But like I said, you know, when I, when I first started before, I, I was I was pretty trash, you know, like, um, I had a lot of friends who <laughs> <laughs> pretty tough, yeah, I wasn't good. But like it was something I worked on, you know, I built, you know, I really worked on it. I built, you know, built on, one chip at a time, you know, once you get a little flow, then you learn how to put your world game together, you learn how to put, make songs, you know, how to make bridges, you, you know, it's just, it's just a puzzle, you know, and, and you just learn how to put that puzzle together until you get it right. So, you know, started off where, you know, I wasn't that good, but I just kept working on it, and then so eventually where you develop your own sound and your own vibe, and you, know, you do your thing. That's, that's, that's nice. I mean, especially if you have honest friends, because nah, yeah, sometimes yeah. people would be fake to you yeah, and they would tell yeah, you you sound friends. good and nah. <laughs> you sound trash, but... Well, I mean, my friends, they told me, you ain't gonna go wood with that thing right there. You know, you kept it real with me, so I was like, you know, my feelings. But... I mean, having your friends telling you no is one thing and having producers in studios and getting rejections and like being, having your own struggles with this is a whole different thing. That How is, did you is. overcome this? What are kind of the struggles that you have well, I mean, to face? The struggles from when you begin and, and now is two totally different. You know, now it's all about, you know, just getting yourself out there. You know, when you when you're doing an independent road like me and you're just kind of branding yourself and you're making yourself marketable and you're pushing your own music, it's it's dope because you don't have rules and regulations, you know, when you're under, under a label. But at the same time, you know, the label advantage is the fact that you have that big budget to do promotions and, and to put your face out there yeah. and, and, and kind of let people see your vibe. But, you know, I'm at a, a level where, you know, I can pretty much do what I want to do, which is dope. You know, all the revenue comes to me. I work as hard as I want to. And at the same time, um, it's just a level of, you know, putting that hard work, you know, and, you, and at the end of the day, I feel like no one's going to work as hard as yourself for something you believe in. So it kind of just, you know, put it together. That's great because I wanted to know how long have you actually been in the music industry? Well, I've been going hard. Like I said, I met Lee um, Jambox around 2011, 2012. That's when I really started. So I actually started here? Yeah, In yeah, a way. Yeah, started here. That's Definitely, crazy. Yeah, started I didn't even here. know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said I came up here. Um, That's Jambox, so. Came up here, Lee was sitting, in, was sitting in his office. He looked at me, looked up in there, I said, <laughs> you got a nice look, man. I, th I think you got, you may have some talent. And I was like, really? You know, he ain't behaved me at all yet. And then um, at that time, that's when I was kind of shaping my style. You know, I was shaping my style. I was trying to see what lane I want to go in. And by the time around 2013, I just figured out, you know what? I love this high tempo lane, this dance music, this cool vibe. And it just worked for me. It, it was just, it just blended perfectly. You know, actually people would be scared to uh, perform or do the kind of music you do on EDM music. They would be scared because people are not going to understand this and how are they going to reach this audience how they're going to how did you how did you get over this it was to start it was natural to me you know it really was because at the end of the day i always had a lot of energy i always been really energetic 
from. I got on stage, and when you hear those, that bass, you hear that tempo, and you just jump it up and down. <laughs> Going and, dancing. And, and I'm a hard sweat. Sometimes you get lyrics pop in your head when, when you're like hearing some kind of beat of that course. doesn't have a nah, sound nah, or anything I, on I, it. I'm known for like kind of chanting. I be sitting there like this, chanting to my little, I'm like a crazy person on the train, saying, talking to myself. He's like, I got it. It's right there. I got it. Just need to record it real quick. Yeah, it definitely comes to my head, you know, different choruses, different bridges. And I just, you know, it just manifests in my mind. And, and I think that's how all artistry break, artistry um, starts. It starts with a vision and then you add on to it, you know, like a, a naked tree and you add some leaves, some branches to it. And that's kind of just the way I, I do my and thing. That's how you started yeah. wanting to make your own music because yeah. you go off of any beat, you feel it, you want to mm -hmm. be on it. So it's like, oh, maybe, maybe I want to make the music Self. Maybe I want to be part of this. I yeah, want to know how it's done, structured, now, and everything. And that's All how the it goes, you know. And that's kind of what happened with Jambox. You know, I learned how to do the technical piece of it. So it was more like not just being an artist in terms of coming up with words. It was more learning, you know, more of the the, the technical and, and the science of music. Because once you understand that now that science, then you become a better artist in the way you know what to ask for. Of course, you know yeah. what sound you want. You know, and then when you get with some dope producers or some engineers. You're like, you know, I know this right here. Can you make it sound like this? Can we can we play it around with this? And you yeah, vibe off each other. You know, um, Peter George is actually the guy I work with in Jambox. The best of the best, man. That, that dude is <laughs> one class, man. You know, he, Shout out to he, him. He, nah, Peter George is great, man. Um, and me and him just have great chemistry, man. Like, I've been working with him now for the last, like, six years, and we just have phenomenal chemistry together. I get in there, and he be like, yo, Speedy, you can do a little tighter, man. You know what? Let's try something different. It takes someone who tells you, maybe yeah. you can do this. Yeah, nah, definitely. You're like, oh, maybe course. I can. But it comes with trust. Because you know that, because you, if you made a dope project and song with somebody before, you know that they're always looking for your best. So True. you got, you only can but respect that man's word. So when he's telling me something like, he'll stop me in the middle of it, like, let's try this over. I know it's not coming from a place like he's saying with phones, texting. Because he can just put you yeah, on record yeah. and fix that shit exactly. later and just put you on music. I was like, next. You know, exactly. it's easy you for him to so do that. It's not bad. It's all, about, it's all a part of the process. So you've been doing it all. You tried to sing. You're like, eh, not for me. Nah, nah, sing You tried to perform. Not. You tried to rap, laugh, do it live, record, all that. So you obviously gave this music industry and the game and your your art a lot of love if you get any of this back or of, not of yet of course i mean like i said you know i wouldn't do it unless i get love back i mean i think anything you do in life has to be reciprocal you give you take you know that's how it goes but i think um you know with me um it's been dope to six dope experience you know it's, it's the coolest thing when you drop a project and you put it out there and you have fans from you know from japan the middle east um germany all these different countries and that so when you love, you know, some of these places I never stepped foot in, but they know who I am. And I think that's the- How does that thing. make you feel if you get like a message from nah. somebody in India or something? It was like, that's yo, the, I like your music. I mean, I mean once once I do Google Translate, I can understand what you're saying. <laughs> First I'm about to say, I hate you, go to hell, you know, but, but, but like, you know, once you see it's dope, you know, they give you some love, they give you a really dope message. It's really cool, you know, at the end of the day, it just makes you feel good and it, and it, it makes you know that your message and your artistry is respected. Do you places. ever get nervous or you feel like, mm, no, maybe I'll keep this track to myself. Like, I'm selfish about it. I want to keep it for me. I mean, I think initially you start like that because everyone has like, you know, has some anxiety when it comes to insecurities, when it comes to like your music, like they're going to like it, you know, you question yourself. And that's natural as any artist. But I think once you throw it out there, people, um, they're going to gravitate to it, they feel it. You know, and if they don't feel it, then it is what it is. You know, at least you know you, you did your best. But if people feeling your music, they're gonna love it, you know, and they're gonna you're, you're gonna get that same that same energy back, man. And, and all you can do is embrace it. So I've been fortunate that I've gotten a lot of love, you know, from different places, um, you know, even in you know, the United States, you know, especially like you know California, I get a lot of love. New York City, because you know, obviously, you know, we have low east side, we got we got Williamsburg, yep. you know, we got the dope. I love it out there, you know. <laughs> so I always get a lot of love in those places. Um, even in Harlem, you know, Harlem is it's changed, it's real eclectic. So. You know, you get a lot of different sounds, so you know, I get a lot of love. And you said you started Jambox in a way. How is Jambox involved in all this? And like, um, did you record your music here? Yeah, yeah. My, my, What's my, the relation my here? My last, my, my first two major projects I've done, I, I recorded at Jambox. Um, and the one I'm working on right now, I recorded um, out of, so far I've recorded about 15 tracks. I think I did maybe about 13 in Jimbox. EDM and electronic music and all the upbeat, but, but, but what else? Rap. You know, I think hip hop is. That's know, where it all started. Yeah, huh? hip hop started. You know, I, like I said, you know, I listen to a, a number of different artists. I, I go back from as far, like, you know, 
fall back and I come back, you know, to now, like, you know, I listen to rappers like Big Sean, I listen to um, um, Electric Youth, that's another, you know, definitely more alternative music. I'll listen to T.I. is one of my favorite rappers of all time. I think T.I. is so dope, man. It's just his flow. Like, he, he just, smiled when yeah, he yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry, it's not going to respect it, man. Um, what was um, Kendrick Lamar, I think, is really, really dope, too. Of I just, course, I just yeah. love his flows. You know, I, I really appreciate the way they're able to attack music in so many different ways. And, and you know, a lot of times when I approach my music, I try to attack it in so many different areas, different ways, you know. Sometimes a lot of artists, they get very stagnant just the way they, they attack the music the same way. And people love it. They may love that sound, but... It gets boring at some point. Exactly. You, you're just gonna, you, yeah, you don't yeah. hate the, the artist, but you're gonna listen to something yeah, else. Yeah, definitely, definitely. An artist should have, like, more yeah. than one thing that he can I, give to you, you know? I love Lauren. I think she is phenomenal. That last album on Metal Drama was, to me, that was the... That was like one of the best. What, what do you think about Tyler, the creator, though? I think Tyler Creator is cool. I, I love his energy. <laughs> I, love, I, that's what, I don't that, believe that, you that, one that. Nah, 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 nah. I do love his energy. I like a lot. I love his energy. In terms of his music, his music is cool. I won't lie. It's not, it's not going to be my repeat, but I think his energy is phenomenal. And, and performing live, I think he's a um, really dope, too. I think he's a dope artist, too. He's been doing a little bit of trippy stuff lately, which mm -hmm. I like, which is, I don't know, it's just a new thing that came out of him, which is great. Mm -hmm. And he's being open and honest about it. And that's what you were saying. An artist should be yeah, doing yeah, more yeah, than yeah. one, like, I, I style. Agree. Like, you know, like Kid Cudi, I think he is so dope. I can't, um, his last project, I think, was phenomenal. Um, you know, I think Childish Gambino was really dope, too. You know, they're, they're artists that are not your conventional artists, but they press the envelope, you know, they, they push it in the sense that they're willing to expand the genre. You know, at the end of the day, you know, hip hop and all genres, it's like a baby, you gotta make it grow, you know, you gotta push it to the next level. And um, I respect a lot of artists that do that, you know, cause it's not easy to put yourself out there and do something different, you know? So with my style, that's the way I look at it, you know, I do something very different. And at the end of the day, you know, it inspires me and, you know, if you feel it, you feel it, you know, so I get a lot of love, but it's so I appreciate it. If you wouldn't be a performer, what would you be like doing? I'll be on the train right now, um, <laughs> dancing. Now, I, I'll be, I'll be, um, <laughs> I don't know, you know, I, I think... I, People well, get a lot of money doing that, just so you know. Nah, they do, they make good money. <laughs> nah, but, but they, I, they made a lot of money from me, too, right? <laughs> you know, right? Always. I don't know, I just appreciate that they're doing something nah. instead of sitting on their asses, basically. Yeah. But I mean, I'm but, say. go back to your question, I mean, I think that I do it every day, you know. I'm not just an artist, you know, I have other other businesses and things that I do. So, I just try to make myself not one dimension. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I feel like, you know, if you believe in God, you believe in whoever, you know, he gives you a lot of different talents. I'm about just maximizing what I do, you know, that's, that's the way I live life, you know, I just think you live it up, you do what you gotta do, you know. So how much effective are the supportive, like supporters, your supporters in your life? Oh, I mean, you know, you have to have a strong team. I mean, at the end of the day, it's when it comes to, you know, everyone from the um, music production, so, you know, your personal life, you know, it, it's, you need to have a strong team because you're, you're, sometimes you only strong with your team, you know, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when you have doubts about your artistry or just even, regular things in life, you know, you sometimes you need, you know, things and people and, and resources that you rely on. So in the day that's you know kind of where I look at. So it. tell me Speed, what's next for you? What's your goals and what should we expect from you next after this? Um, right now welcome to the project right now it's called um, Dark Days Bright Fantasies. Um work on this project for about a year and a half. Dedicate dedication was my manager died a couple years ago. And um just really put a lot of emphasis on this, man, you know, it's a lot of feeling. I try a lot of new things, try to harmonize, not quite singing, but try to do some cool stuff in it. Um, <laughs> There's an auto tune for that, you know? Yeah, but you know, I, I don't think my voice sounds good in auto tunes anyway, so oh just doing some cool stuff with it and um, just making sure it's, it's really a nice dedication towards you, you know, and I'm not going to be real cheesy, you know, like people just have these cheesy tracks, but it's really cool, eclectic. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. So you, how long you've been in the game for? Um, serious artist, about 2012. And how has it been for you? It's It's been a struggle. You know, you have your ups and downs. You got your good years, your bad years, you know, and it, it's about, at the end of the day, I think it's about consistency and hard work. You know, there's anything like, you know, as long as you go hard, you got passion and you believe in yourself and you have a great support team around you, you know, it's really dope, you know, so that's pretty much my approach. You know, I, got, I have a dope team. Um, one of my um, producers, he produces all my tracks, Danny Switchblade, one of the best in the world, man, he's phenomenal, man, you know, he holds me down, 
when I feel like I'm slipping, he quick to let me know. I already <laughs> told you about my boys. It's it's the a good producer too. Is, no, no, is of course, the reason of course, yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, gonna you, be a good you, artist. You're as good as your producer sometimes, you know. It's like a soulmate. You like need that. to find your soulmate producer. I never like, thought about it like that, but okay. No, so but like for real, if you find like someone who knows how you like things to happen, you know his ways and all that, you guys are definitely gonna nah, make I agree, good I agree. music. You and, know? I, and I think it, it's not even just your producers, your producers, your engineers, it's your, you know, your engineers who help you mix mastering, they all have to be a part of that puzzle and it, it has to fit right. And then, you know, like, I have been talking about my friends, they are some real critics, so if it ain't sound yeah. good, they'll let me know really quick it ain't it's sound It's everything, good. it's everything yeah, around you. And with all this struggle and all, like you've been in it for a really long time, obviously, with, even before being professional, if you would say something to someone who's just starting out and they've been struggling and they're having their own like issues and critics and everything, what would be something, a good advice that we'd actually tell them so they can hold on and like keep trying? Stay consistent. You know, stay consistent, work hard. And then the day, you have to realize that life is just, it's his own beast. So almost meaning that you're gonna have things that's gonna deter you. And that's cool. You know, you may get a job, you may, Get a girlfriend, you may, you know, you know, whatever, a boyfriend, whatever you're into. But in the day, it's that you say consistent and keep on plugging at it every day and get better. You know, you'll make some moves. And so, what do you think about people who say that music and working and girls they don't mix together? Like relationships hold you down and everything. So, what do you say to that? Because like, obviously she's here supporting. So, what do you what do you want to say about that? At the end of the day, I think to each of them. At the end of the day, some people works for them, some people doesn't. You know, so exactly. I mean, that's all you need that, to that, say. I mean, that's the truth, you know. <laughs> so, so tell us, so, where so, can so, we find you? Um, you can find me at um, few things. I'm on Spotify, Speed Audubon, S S P E D. Oh, thank you, <laughs> S P E D A U T O B A H N Audubon. Um, Spotify, um, title, um iTunes, you can find me on any social media. Um, SoundClick. I'm you guys are gonna have all the links in the description yeah, definitely, down below. Yeah. Don't even yeah, worry yeah, about it. <laughs> Thank you for stopping no, and, really and really having this it. awesome interview with us today. And, and for really this sure. episode of Jambox Unbox. In the upcoming weeks, we will be showcasing several of the top talents coming to Jambox Entertainment Studios. Please share your comments below and let us know your thoughts and what would you like to see more of. If you have a project and you would like to share with us, our information is in the description box down below. Remember to come back next Sunday and every Sunday at 3 p.m. for a new episode of The Jambox Show.